Hi, my name's uh, Glenn Ward. I'm a senior design engineer at Kadak Holdings and we design mixing consoles for the professional audio industry. If you went to see The Lion King, for instance, Kadak have got a desk there that uh, does all of the sound mixing for the entire show. So when the actors are talking on the stage, that's all mixed together in the desk and it goes to all the speakers throughout the theatre. The sound engineer wants you to go to the theatre and not even notice that anyone is actually doing anything with the sound. They just want you to notice the show, the sound, the music. And that's where the skill of the engineer and the design of the desk comes in. You want everything to just as p appear as natural as possible. I was always interested in taking things apart. Annoyance of my parents, so the video player came apart a few times. I had a look at all the electronics in there. I took apart a computer when I was younger, put that all together. I just enjoyed it. I liked knowing how things worked. And at that age, you don't really know how that will turn into a career. But obviously, as you go through education, these opportunities arise and you think, OK, that's something I've always enjoyed. And ultimately, I led my education and career path into engineering. I've got to be honest with this one. With my A-levels, I studied physics, geography and English. Um, which I ultimately ended up getting three E's and an N in, which I'm not proud of. But what that did was it sort of spurred me on. I'd let myself down with my A-levels and I thought, right, now I've got to turn this around. I love engineering and I'm going to get into it. So I did a foundation year at Huddersfield University. They were happy to give me a sort of second chance and I did that for a year. Um, I then went on to their electronic engineering and computer systems degree course, which was a four-year sandwich course. And in that, I sort of turned it all around and ended up getting a first at the university with one of the top sort of grades in the year, he boasts. But I was proud of the fact that I managed to turn around the, my poor A-level results and got myself into the career I wanted to do. With a product like this, the way the maths and science comes into it is it's sort of like a translation between two languages. We as humans, we move things up and down, we push buttons, we turn things off and on with our hands. And the maths and science that we use in engineering translates those sort of movements into digital signals and we use maths to figure that out and, and calculate that and what we have in here is sort of a brain and that brain interprets those movements and those button presses and that audio coming in into, into what we want the product to ultimately do. The thing I love the most is the realisation of say two years hard work into something like a console like this. It, you're sat behind a desk coding, you're soldering, it, it, it can be hot and dirty work underneath a desk in a theatre somewhere, you're wiring things up, it doesn't work, you have to try it again, you have to try it again. It's all that hard work that ultimately ends up in a, a great product that you can, you can almost, you feel proud of. It was a great experience, I, I absolutely loved it. You, you couldn't make it up, the sort of things that went on there, but it's a life experience, that, that's, that's what I take away from it. Granted I didn't win, which I was ultimately disappointed about, but I learned so many things about myself, I learned so many things about how other people work, um, I was in the most high pressure environment I've ever experienced in my entire life, and I feel I'm a better person for it.